Hello everyone, myself Shailesh Rahane and I welcome you all on behalf of Saraswat International Academy. Students, today we will learn chapter number 8, Advanced Scripting Part 4. In last session, we learn if else statement, if else if else statement as well as case statement. Now, in this session, we are going to learn handling repetition. So students, before start this session, just I want to clear a few things. Handling repetition, it means what? Where you have to use loops, loop, while loop, do while loop, for loop, until loop, which you already learn in C programming, right? Those students learn from Gujarat board, they already aware about these things, but those who learn from CBSC board, they are not aware about this thing. So I will clear all this handling repetition statement and loop practically. And this session is not in your darpan. This is, I am teaching practically. So you have to learn the program and practice at your home and note down in your notebook also. Okay, student. So let's start it. So our first handling repetition program we are making now using while loop. Here student, we have to, what is first of all, what is the meaning of loop? The loop, it means called chain. In chain, suppose I want the number from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10, right? So every time user will not enter all this number, user will enter the condition only and the loop will check that condition and execute the output. So for that, here I am making first program vi script 7 dot sh. Okay student, now here I am giving the message to the user echo enter enter the number Okay, student. Now here I'm writing read num. It means whatever the number user enter that will store in variable num. Now here, student, I'm using while loop. So for while loop, I write here while condition num hyphen le hyphen le that is the operator which we have to use in vim editor it means less than equal to here i am writing 10 and here condition complete right and here i am writing do after that here i am writing num equal to num equal to single code expr it means expression expression after that num plus 1 here single quote complete ok 
okay students now whatever the number will come it will store in num variable and after that we have to display the num variable so echo echo here i write dollar num double quote complete okay and here i'm write i will write here done it means the your while statement is completed let us execute this program here i'm writing bash script 7 dot sh enter so i'm writing the number 1 so num integer expression expected Ek, just a minute yahan pe hum log ko kya mistake wo check karna hai sabse pehle to while read num okay we have to use here dollar value dollar num and here also we have to use dollar num because it's a value dollar num okay and here I complete single quote so bash script 7 dot sh enter the number that is 1 so you will get the student output till 11 but you want the output till number 10 so for that student you again go here and in place of le you have to write lt it means only less than right so here lt let's check the program enter the number it's coming in 1 to 10 now suppose if you want the table of 15 how you will get it so again i will show you the new practical i'm using same script script 7.sh and here enter the number there you have to write student 15 number and inside that that 15 number you have to check till 150 where till 150 okay student and here the condition the number will increase by the number 15 so here I am writing 15 now let's check is it coming 15 table or not so enter the number that I write 15 so student you can see here the num table of 15 number is generated so this is called while loop while loop statement you understood student okay now next practical this program also note down in your notebook because it may be asked in your practical exam this is your program this space don't consider this space it you have to write it continue okay student now your next program is until statement now how to use this until statement until statement is a another method to execute repetitive statement is to make use of the until statement the until loop is similar to the while loop however the until loop execute till the condition is false and the while loop execute till the condition is true so student is me a 
डिफरेंस है अंटिल कंडीशन कब तक चेक होता है जब तक कंडीशन फॉल्स आती है और उसके अपोजिट वाइल लूप है वाइल लूप में क्या होता है जब तक ये कंडीशन ट्रू है मतलब नम लेस देन इक्वल टू फिफ्टी तब तक ये चेक होते रहेगा जैसे ही अगर यहाँ पे वन सिक्सटी आएगा तो वन सिक्सटी लेस देन इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टी सेटिस्फाई होगा नहीं तो ये कंडीशन फॉल्स होगी तो ये एग्जीक्यूट नहीं करेगा बट अंटिल स्टेटमेंट उससे अपोजिट है जब तक ये कंडीशन फॉल्स आते रहेगी तब तक अंटिल स्टेटमेंट एग्जीक्यूट होगा जैसे ही ये कंडीशन ट्रू आ गई ये अंटिल स्टेटमेंट एग्जीक्यूट नहीं होगा अभी स्टूडेंट हम लोग का जो नेक्स्ट प्रैक्टिकल है वो आपके दर्पण में पेज नंबर टू थर्टी टू पे रिपीटेशन अंटिल स्टेटमेंट है वो आपको करना है ये एग्जाम में भी पूछा जा सकता है इसलिए मैं इसको डिटेल में यहाँ पे एक्सप्लेन करता हूं सबसे पहले क्लियर करते हैं ये स्क्रीन ओके और लेटेस्ट स्टार्ट नाउ राइटर शेल स्क्रिप्ट टू परफॉर्म ऑपरेशन टिल यूजर डिसाइड टू एग्जिट जब तक यूजर डिसाइड नहीं करता कि उसको एग्जिट करना है प्रोग्राम तब तक ये कंटिन्यू वर्क होते रहना चाहिए ऐसा हमें प्रोग्राम बनाना है स्टूडेंट तो यहाँ पे मैं प्रोग्राम का नाम लिखता व्यू वी आई स्क्रिप्ट एट डॉट एस एच लेट एस स्टार्ट इट ना चॉइस इक्वल टू चॉइस इक्वल टू वाई स्मॉल लेटर वाई ओके एंटर अंटिल अंटिल स्पेस स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट ओपन डॉलर चॉइस इक्वल टू एन एंड हियर स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट कंप्लीट नाउ do after until statement do you have to write clear after you have to write echo double quote choose choose an option from menu given below okay student after that you have to write echo double quote just put the simply dot डबल कोट कंप्लीट एंटर इको डबल कोट ऑप्शन ए लिस्ट ऑफ फाइल्स लिस्ट ऑफ फाइल्स एंड डिरेक्टरीज इन अ करंट डिरेक्टरी डबल कोट कंप्लीट इको ऑप्शन बी डिस्प्ले करंट वर्किंग डिरेक्टरी तो डिस्प्ले करंट वर्किंग डिरेक्टरी डबल कोट कंप्लीट इको ऑप्शन सी डिस्प्ले करंट डेट एंड टाइम डिस्प्ले करंट डेट एंड टाइम इको ऑप्शन डी सर्चिंग अ वर्ड फ्रॉम अ फाइल सर्चिंग अ वर्ड फ्रॉम अ फाइल इको ऑप्शन ई एग्जिट सो यर एग्जिट echo double quote okay after that echo hyphen n enter your choice enter your choice 
from A to E. A to E. Okay. After that, read choice variable we have to declare. So here, write read ch. So whatever choice you will enter, it will store in ch variable, student. After that, case here I am using case statement dollar ch in option a we have to write over here that is ls hyphen l so you will get the list of files and directory in a current directory after that case a completed case b echo you are working in dollar pwd you have to write statement you have to check the present working directory so that's why you have to write the option here you are working in single quote dollar pwd single quote complete double quote complete so you will get the result present working directory after that c statement here echo third statement is display current date and time so you have to write the message echo current date and time is current date and time is dollar date single quote complete double quote complete option D asterisk symbol the fourth statement is searching a word from a file so for that I am writing your program echo hyphen n enter the word to be searched enter the word to be search double quote complete read word echo hyphen n enter the file name from which the word is to be searched enter the file name from which the word to be search Barabar. after that you have to save that word in that file so for that read file and if statement you have to here use hyphen f and you have to check that is the that file is exist or not for that you have to use hyphen f operator and dollar file you will get the file name over here after that then you have to use the filter for grep grip any global regular expression grip dollar word dollar file else Okay, else echo hyphen n 
file with name dollar file does not exist file with name dollar file does not exist fi completed double colon option e exit zero after that here all five conditions are completed asterisk bracket complete your echo incorrect choice comma try again suppose if any user student is choose the option from a to e then that statement will execute but if he not choose the option from a to e then he will get the answer means message incorrect choice try again okay student and here your case statement is completed case statement completed after that echo hyphen n do you want to continue do you want to continue double quote complete read choice read choice okay after that done escape colon wq and here you have to write the program bash script 8 dot sh enter so first of all no command bas okay by mistake it's written bash so you have to write bash okay so here cannot execute binary file okay this is your program student choose an option from give menu given below so there are total five option option a list of file and directory in a current directory so use a so you will get all the directory and number of files which is written over there see these are the files student which we created just now and these all are the folders so list of files and directory directory in this folder so list of files and folder in a current directory is display over here now second option is display current working directory so i use option do you want to continue yes so option b i use so you are working in right now there is no present working direct, um, current directory that's why the option not came but still if you want that answer just a minute right n i go to that script and in place of dollar pwd i write just here here also right now check it again option b you are working in this directory okay students now the option third is do you want to continue so yes now third option is display current date and time the option c so here current date and time is display over here you can see here today's monday november 30 time is this and 2020 see from here it is consider 557 so 5 56 at that time it's display over here do you want to continue yes option d so desktop cannot find line 28 there is a problem this searching a word file we have to check it again enter the word to be search i am writing the word sun enter the file from which you have to search i am writing script 7 dot sh do you want to continue no just a minute let's check this script option current date after that 
enter the word to be search read word enter the file name from which the word to be search okay read file dollar file and in grip you will search that word else you will get that message and f5 let's check it again student first of all i will create one file cat file one okay here yeah, i am writing hello friend how are you and i am writing one more message welcome to saraswat school okay after that i close this message and again i run this script and i choose the option d enter the word to be search i write here school enter the file name from which the word to be search i write that file name is file 1 so welcome to sarasa school you got it okay student same like suppose again i will use this uh, d option and i will execute it do you want to continue yes i choose the option d enter the word to be search i write hello enter the file name file 1 so you will get hello friends how are you understood student now the last statement that is exit e option e so if suppose i use the option e it will execute from that program okay student have you understood this program now here we will stop in next session we will learn how to use function so if you have any doubt you can ask me on my whatsapp number thank you students have a good day